Okay, what's up beautiful people? Welcome back to uh, my channel, Be Me Bad Moses channel. <laughs> welcome back guys. Um, ah, many welcome back. <laughs> Happy welcome back. No. How y'all doing? How are you guys doing? How have you guys been doing? I just finished downing a beautiful plate of fried rice. It was divine. It was amazing. And I'm just washing it down with, can you guess? Guess in the comment section what you think this is. I'll give you a clue. It's cold. <laughs> That's the only clue I'm going to give you, but man, that rice was divine. Courtesy of my house assistant, Stroke Tisha's nanny. And <laughs> lately, or since she came, well, lately I've been calling her house assistant, and people have been asking me which one's house assistant again. Well, it's you people that say that house help is derogatory. I don't know how it is derogatory. I don't know, so I don't even know because she doubles as an house assistant and as Tisha's nanny. So I can't only call her Tisha's nanny. I only call her Tisha's nanny when she does something for Tisha. And then when she does like house stuff, I call her house assistant. But she's been really, really helpful. So I don't know. I just don't even know at all. But that's what it is. What do you guys think it's supposed to be? House help, house assistant, or just simply plain old nanny? I don't know. Just let me know. Anyway, she's been absolutely amazing. Made this beautiful fried rice. She loves to cook, you guys. I've not been having issues on that front. And she's from Akwai Bomb. She, she cooks really good food, really good soups. And we enjoy it. We all enjoy it. <laughs> for being here today. <sighs> today, guys, hmm, I'm going to be chit-chatting with you with something that I said I was going to talk about in my previous video. And that is going to be family vloggers like what i think about family vloggers um especially in this nigeria because i realized the different dynamic in nigeria is it really different i don't know but that's what we're going to be talking about today i'm just going to be sharing a few points um or things that i've seen um that i agree with or don't agree with what i really just think about this whole family vlogging thing and obviously i'm kind of like a family vlogger too so obviously i'll be putting myself in the mix so if you're interested in this let's just get right into it okay okay so first off um family vloggers if you don't know are basically um vloggers that like youtube people that come on youtube and basically share their family life um I don't really know if we have so much of family vloggers, daily family vloggers in Nigeria that literally post videos every day. So I don't really know if we have so much of them in Nigeria presently, but basically family vloggers, they, a lot of them, especially the daily ones, post like their lives, their family's life daily, like, you know, from when they wake up in the morning, they go to school or go to work or the ones that stay at home. They basically just show you like their whole life and everything. And some of these kids are like, have grown into it and are inside it already and, you know, basically she had the family vlogging world so right now i have my own family if you don't know i'm married i have a daughter a two-year-old daughter and i sometimes post vlogs when <laughs> i have something relevant to show you guys that's when i post vlogs so um it's just this whole family vlogging dynamic family vlogging thing are you know cuts across different um varieties so you have those that are strictly um what do you call it adopting parents so parents that adopted you know their kids and show you the process of adoption and everything and up on until the child comes to live with them it's a huge market out there guys like literally nigeria does not even have any grasp on those things like abroad people are cashing out and creating so much content and people are feeding into all this content so they, they take you on from like the adoption series to when they actually have um have these children a lot of them um have as much as five six seven eight uh children you know in their houses or you know or the process of just giving birth you know um labor and delivery story and like somebody said literally that child is already making money right for the parents right out of when they pop out of their parents uh their mom's womb like the camera is already on them and they're already posting it on youtube and they're already cashing out and all that stuff i also see from a different perspective while i see it as you know um the children are already making money for their from for their parents i also see it as you know people them just wanting to share some things um with the world or sharing with people that may not have had such experiences just to know how these experiences are that's like you know the whole adopting series and then the whole um um giving birth series you know but then i also get the point where the other argument that says that um 
as soon as those kids are popped out of the woman the mother's belly they are already like a cash cash cow for the parents you know and they've had different series of examples of you know people asking their children to fake talk like this or you know once i turn on the camera fake like this or fake like that or people just posting extreme things about their kids from when their kids are maybe like potty training or when they are naked when they are bathing and all those things and they're showing like their naked bodies or when they are um i don't know maybe when they are throwing tantrums really really like you know kind of embarrassing things that um children will grow up later in the future and not like to see like on their on their on their mom's channel and i was having a conversation with um a mom um blogger i would call her a mom blogger um on on instagram and you know she was talking about how we have to be careful of the things we post about our children you know there's a thin line between wanting to share some things with other moms or other parents out there and you actually putting like invading the privacy of your children now as a nigerian you can be like do these children have any privacy because obviously like <laughs> your it's almost like your parents can do with you whatever they feel like but seriously you think about it and in this our generation we're trying to do this whole gentle parenting thing and we're trying to do better than our parents so i think that our child my daughter as little as she is as two year old as she is she has some type of privacy and she has some rights that i should not um violate and i love that she as two as she is she's already speaking up for herself so for example when you maybe when i dress to show up for a party or for school or something you know and i think she looks really pretty when i turn on the camera there's sometimes she'll come and meet me when i do that and she'll be like mommy cheese like she wants me to take a picture of her you know and she like posts and do videos and everything and then there are other times that i would turn on the camera and she'll be like mommy no cheese mommy no cheese as in don't <laughs> don't put your camera in my face and i've seen some other um uh, youtuber kids um I, I can't remember who comes to mind now but i remember somebody's son i don't want to mention names and sometimes he would be like no mommy don't put the camera in my face and you know I, I i respect that and i i think we as parents should also respect that so when you see that your children are not in the mood like no 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 mommy don't no cheese like don't put the camera in my face you respect that but i know that we're also african parents are like what do you mean by that no we're trying to do better than our parents so this whole family vlogging dynamics of just posting everything out there about these kids from you know when they're you know um getting their potty trained or when they get lose their first tooth or when they become teenagers and they're seeing their periods or I, I just think it's or when you know like it's just personally i just think it's a lot it's a lot especially when you don't have the consent of that child now if you have the consent of that child you know if the child says oh mommy it's fine you can post it then you can you, you know you can go on and post things like that but when your child does not yet have that age of consent or um does not or even you know the ones that understand maybe consent or understand privacy a little even though i don't think she understands it a little but it's like mommy no 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 then i think we should just respect that so this whole thing of putting everything out there and not um keeping some things or posting embarrassing things like i was telling the mom mommy blogger i was talking to and i was like listen i don't want a situation whereby my child is going to see this thing in the future and be embarrassed and i told her, i said we do we shouldn't post things that when she and her friends see it in the future they're like what is this like why would mommy post this of me and we have to be very careful about it and we've seen several um examples i was sharing a couple of articles with her i read some articles about some kids you know one was about eight or nine and she was suing her mom for her mom not taking down some of the blog posts that her mom made of her so well obviously that's not in nigeria <laughs> but we're supposed to be learning from these things right so basically her mom had been blogging about her on her blog it wasn't even vlogs it wasn't even videos but just basically writing about her from when she was a baby and one day she and her friends stumbled on this blog and they were like and she was like no i don't want it and she basically sued her mom and obviously they granted her mom favor i mean i regretted her favor you know so I, I you know i agree with her now there's another aspect of where the parents actually know and they are making money out of these children they are making money out of the kids we are making money out of our kids and we're not even giving the money to them so for example like a brand sends you like sponsorship gig or something and it's for a child's hairline or hair care line or something and you know that you're not just going to post those brand products and say i'm using this brand product you're actually getting your child involved like if a brand if i don't know any brand sends me um hair products for tiche and i know that tiche has to model those products like i have to use it on my hair to show and make ads about it listen I have to pay Tisha something because she has worked for her money. That's why she has an account. She has a personal account. And whatever money I make from it, me as a videographer, I will collect my money. It's just like how like sometimes when um, 
a brand makes me up sends me packages or something to do to do an ad or something and i don't take very good pictures but my husband takes amazing pictures and my husband takes the pictures it's only right for me to share like whatever they pay me with him for Tisha, like if a brand sends her packages and she's the one modeling it or she's talking or she's just touching it or she's just in the video that you know she has worked for it even if it's just five minutes she spent she has worked for it and yes she has to or she deserves to get a cut from that money so you put it in our account somewhere and i'm advising you out there today if your child is the reason why you're getting some type of payment i think it's only right that that child gets a cut or even gets the full amount of money and i was talking to that mommy blogger and she does the same thing she was like whatever toys or items are sent to our daughter and our daughter has to and she has to do like a little reel um, um with her daughter playing with those products or a little video with her daughter talking about those products she pays her daughter money and that's another way of like um starting to have um trust trust fund for them so it's not everything one 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 you just be spending like that you just be you just be chopping the money like that like <laughs> you know so that's another aspect of this and i've seen so many parents like they are cashing out from their children like literally from when these children were born like literally from when they pushed them out these children have become cash making machines for them but then they've never ever tried to give to those kids and you say you know i hear things like oh but they are eating uh, uh, ojb <laughs> what do you mean by but they are eating ojb so even if those brands are not coming you will not pay them you will not give them food no now <laughs> or oh but they are wearing clothes ojb it's your responsibility to do that but when then when they go the extra mile when to do other things other than them going to school or just them playing normally and you use them for a sponsor sponsorship or something they deserve to get a cut i've seen parents that through their kids you know doing all sorts on their channels they have built big houses massive houses but then these children don't even have their own rooms to themselves they are sharing room like and you you probably have like you imagine you have like a seven seven room house Abia, how would i put it and your kids are sharing one room and those kids are your source of income they are the reason why you're getting paid they're the reason why brands are paying you money i mean it doesn't make sense that those children are living like that i don't know if anybody gets me so that's the thing about this whole family vlogging situation it's not necessarily a bad thing to be a family vlogger you know because you're just trying to influence other people and show other people some things but then there's a thin line between that influencing and showing people stuff and actually embarrassing your kids and milking your kids out of money there's a really thin line with that and one has to be very very careful about it and i think it's also because like we don't have laws protecting kids. I've, those kids that act in movies, I have heard that they have like some type of laws, like they cannot work more than maybe three hours a day or something like that. So if there were laws like that in place, do you think that you'll be able to film your children 24 hours, um, what they call it, 24 hours a day and, you know, posting them all the time? I think it's a different thing that we, we need to take take our minds to shift our minds to and think about i know that we don't really think about these things i recently just started thinking more about it and you know it's something that i'm very passionate about now um i'm not condemning those that like post their kids obviously i post <laughs> i post my kid a lot you know i you know i share some of the things that i want you guys to see but then when i feel like you know she's working for her money i pay her for her money so just like how i post myself i can post her but then like i said my daughter has gotten to this age where she recognizes the camera and she knows whether she wants to be in it or not be in it but then if you know that your child is not yet at that age is the only sensible thing for you to do is to try to decipher and decide these things also for privacy reasons like this bad people are out there just looking for children to divorce so you have to be very very careful about the information you post about them don't post their schools out there you know i try as much as possible not to do that you know just really really be careful the information you post about these kids if you're a family vlogger parenting vlogger motherhood vlogger you have to be very careful it's not only on youtube even on instagram um and give your child what your child is due like don't chop their own with your own give them what is due and i think like that's really the only right thing to do the most important thing to do in this situation you know let's be very very careful and not not cross that thin line for parents out there that are vloggers and are watching this just think about it you know i'm sure you're you're kind of getting what i'm saying but if you feel like you're so nigerian you're so african you're so stuck in your ways you don't care that's why you're feeding these kids well it's up to you i just feel like your kids don't grow up one day to say why are you doing this mom <laughs> or they tell you not to do it and you're like no i'm going to do it and you know things happen but i just hope nothing bad happens to our kids but i'm just putting out there for that week so that we can have a different mindset and 
about this thing so if you if you're just hearing this for the first time and you think it makes sense you know let me know if you think it doesn't make sense i'm just i'm just talking bull also let me know like let's have a conversation about it and i can do other videos about it and show you guys more things about this you know family vlogging thing that i'm talking about especially in this nigeria it's so easy to ignore things like that um and say after all <laughs> It's me they sent the team to or after all i'm my mom i can decide things like that you know it's easy to ignore it but i think we should do better in our generation so that our children can appreciate us more um be happy with us and ultimately live a wholesome lifestyle okay <laughs> So yes, that's all I have to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm sure it's a new thing that a couple of people are hearing. Um, just let me know what you feel about it. Thank you so much for watching this. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell everybody that you know, okay? Bye, guys. <laughs>